And I started smelling burning rubber. Some burn marks on it. We've got some rubber from the pulleys, rubber going all around. Pensioner seized. There's no like truck repair shops over here. Altogether, we're in it for about 400 with gas. So, a bit of an expensive breakdown. Ooh, that was wow. really stressful. <laughs> that was not fun at all. <laughs> we have been officially uh, kicked out of this site. We've got to find a new spot with service and hopefully uh, that we can stay overnight. We'll figure it out. This is best life. Some days it's awesome. Other days you get knocked on by the sheriffs and they ask you to move Zeon. Getting kicked out of our beautiful site in Florence, Oregon, we drove 30 miles north to the quaint coastal town of Yahats. on our freaking oysters. That's, that looks deadly. <laughs> Get it out. What do you think that is? Get it out. It's a little baby crab. It's a black crab which looks poisonous to me. <laughs> I don't think there's poisonous crabs to I me. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. I think there's a poisonous everything in the world. Yeah, that crab is probably gonna get us. How many times did you touch that? Too many. So you think that crab could have just crawled out at any point? Please get it out of here. That's so looks scary. pissed, man. He's got his claws up. He's like, I'm gonna I'll bite you. Ah. Alright, little crab, I'll let you out. Alright, this little crabby. I'll be free. What do you do? Freaking crab. You hold in my mind. In a tight grip When I walk all over you And your blood is in the water As you go straight through my heart Through my heart Put this on Airbnb for 100 bucks a night No power, no water Considerate of the tide, we may be pushed out, but mm -hmm. that's okay. It's still Can only $100, right? You got free to use parking. Mm -hmm. Tent already set up for you. Yeah. You may want to bring your own car. And a mattress and sleeping bag, maybe. <laughs> We spent the days parked beachside at a public parking lot, exploring tide pools and enjoying the melodic sounds of the waves crashing against the water. And we spent the evenings 10 miles inland on national forest land with no cell service. It was a magical week of everything we dreamed 
bus life on the coast would be, and it was also exhausting having to move early in the morning and late in the evening. So we decided it was time to keep driving north. A few moments later. Something happened to the belt, and we are on the side of the road. Today has been a very interesting day. Started out with the plan to go to the rec center. We were gonna go hot tubbing, going swimming. We're gonna have a really nice day. And that all changed. About five minutes down the road, I started smelling burning rubber. And that is not a good smell in a diesel engine. So I hopped out, heard a terrible squeal, and our belt was literally just melting and shedding rubber. And yeah, you can come see the damage. So the belt has got some burn marks on it, We've got some rubber from the pulleys, the rubber going all around, got to take the fan off and get it around all that. So what happened is our tensioner seized. Now it's turning again, I put some oil in it and uh, it sort of spins, but if you can hear or see, there should not be a gap in the bearings. And it shouldn't sound like that. That clicking noise is bad. So, if this part on your engine is making noise, you should fix it. Don't just ignore it like we did and think, I'll fix that next week, you know? Nah, just next week happened and it broke. So this is our $70 belt. Ridiculous. Thankfully the fix is actually pretty easy. I think it's one bolt, a half inch, and then you have to have a half inch drive socket to actually pull the tensioner back. We should be able to fix it, get back on the road. I hope I can just slide it around the wheel. Now we need our breaker bar. So once you have the belt, run back through the right places, and then your tensioner is in place as well. The next step is to pull the tensioner back, get the belt on, clean everything up, and hope that everything works. It will work. We're gonna make it work. We're manifesting it will work. Good job. Wow, did it. <laughs> Proud of you. We had to buy another belt, another tensioner. The tensioner was 300, the belt was 70. Altogether, we're in it for about 400 with gas. So, bit of an expensive breakdown. We caught it before any major damage occurred. So, it's a lesson learned. 
and just part of bus life. You know, you can't really go any super long distance without having a breakdown. So, you know, it's just one of those things that, that happens. We're also on the coast of Oregon and there's no like truck repair shops over here. Dan had to drive like inland to the five to get to a shop. Minimum he had to drive was like an hour and a half. That was the closest place. So that's also another note of if you're doing kind of like a more off the beaten path, like road trip, just don't skip the maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get some maintenance done before you head out. Yeah. Use whatever kind of breaker bar you have to make sure it's tight as tits tight. What a saying. A big bus. It's actually really nice to have a half inch breaker bar. You can use these for lug nuts and breaking things. Still a good amount of thread in there. But we just got us a backup fan belt in case we ever need one. Home. All right, should we try to get the truck ready to drive and figure out where we're going first? We're in Walkport and the truck's fixed. We're probably in a new overnight camping spot, but there's no signs directly near us that say that, so we're gonna yellow it. Look at this view. We drove about just five miles north instead of backtracking and wow look at that sunset though not too shabby for an overnight Even though we have a security system to monitor the truck's exterior, neither of us slept very well this evening. We woke up bright and early en route to Newport, Oregon. And we eventually did make it to that rec center for a hot tub and shower. Not too long after, we settle in at the top of a mountain as we continue our tour of the Oregon coast. But we're learning that in bus life, you can never get too comfortable in one place. We got another knock this morning. It's been a little bit stressful. First knock was one month into bus life. We are just about at the two month bus life mark. So like once a month, apparently. Let us know in the comments if you've ever been kicked out of a campsite and what that experience was like for you. Until then, we appreciate you so much for joining us on this crazy journey, and we'll see you in the next video.